we've got drop couple penguins in our facility and our, one of our oldest birds in our facility is known as Teddy. He's been around since 1999. So he's quite old and we estimate he's between 25 and 30 years old. He uh, was found with his feet tied together. So we do estimate, we do think that these birds are found on fishing trawlers or they're found as legal pets and tossed overboard along the false bay region. And when that happens, they come onto our coast so they arrive in our facility with lots of winds, lots of problems. And um, unfortunately, due to that, we have to care for them indefinitely. It's very sad as to why the birds cannot be released into the wild. So sometimes because they arrive on our coast, they might be injured, they might uh, be vulnerable, they're tired, they're dehydrated, and they might have open wounds or wounds that cannot be healed or sometimes long-term injuries. Also, they could contain or they could uh, pick up parasites and pathogens or diseases along our coast which might be dormant here because we might potentially have unfavorable conditions to that parasite. But the minute it reaches another climate and that climate becomes a favorable uh, condition to the parasite, it could potentially wipe out the entire colony. There are various threats to penguins in the wild, specifically it's pollution. Pollution comes in various forms plastic pollution and then we get oil pollution and um, oil pollution does affect the feathers of birds because they can die from hypothermia. But then you get litter pollution and pollution uh, is all over the world and um, it's microscopic plastics that these birds tend to eat. Sometimes the microscopic plastics end up in the fish that the penguins eat and that could also cause a bird to die from suffocation. Unfortunately, even though we do teach people to be sustainable and to um, recycle and reduce the amount of plastic they use, sometimes um, our message doesn't get across to everybody. Sometimes our message just goes in the one ear and goes out the other ear. It is unfortunate that we do find people like that, but at the same time we try to educate people as much as we can about uh, the effect of pollution, not only on penguins itself, but all animals all over the world.